going a bit down. I don't know why. Maybe some. Maybe they only need, needed dexterity and not wisdom. Why? Uh, yeah. Beginner transition and strength potion plus nine. And maybe they don't need that that much. Okay. Hello there, honorary knights. Sorry. Hey, good to see you. Um, honorary knights, I've heard you're helping Miss Lisa out with running the knights out me shop. The manager says that we are now colleagues in business here in Mondstadt. I'd like to thank you for your frequent patronage and loyalty as a customer of Good Hunter by offering you these funds to help support the expansion of your alchemy shop's operations and earn more revenue, allowing even more happy customers to reap the benefits the shop provides. Please accept these funds and we wish you every success. Well, thank you, Sarah and Good Hunter. Uh, revenue target with. Great job, Judies. Jeans asked her subordinates to provide us with additional funds. Here you go. Oh, funds, funds, right, left, and center. Isn't there anything else more interesting to do? Since gift. So, um, uh, get this. Oh. Dialogues of the desert, desert sages. sages. So this is a pull arm, HP, base attack, right? Principle of equilibrium. Equilibrium. Yeah, on try star rail, uh play it all. I don't understand <laughs> what uh, that refers to. Principle of equilibrium. When the wielder performs healing, restore eight energy. This effect can be triggered once every ten seconds. And can, occur, and can occur even when the character is not on the field. So, healing. Um, a character symbolizing the glory of alchemy, made from special al alloys to match its special status. Uh, it is exceedingly rigid and heavy, and would probably hurt pretty bad if it cut you. Okay. Um... Alright. Eula and uh Beto. What? <laughs> hey, what's up? Yeah, what's up? <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, I mean uh unless uh, you don't challenge the fact that I saw you at one shoot in. But apart from that. Yeah, well, uh, didn't expect to see you two together. <laughs> well, we haven't known each other long, but we hit it off right away. Guess it was meant to be. Mm -hmm. I met Captain Beto at Dornman Port. She was here in Mondstadt to buy some supplies, and I offered to accompany her around the area. Wow. Mm -hmm. You were taking the initiative and making friends? Did I not hear that right? Yep, yeah, you heard that right. I won. <clears throat> Given that the two of us just met, I wouldn't go so far as to call us friends just yet. I was just being uh, hospitable, as is expected of a knight. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Oh, I thought we were getting along pretty well. You're telling me you were just being polite? No, 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 oh, no, no. No, I, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I just thought that after my blunder earlier, you probably wouldn't want to be my friend. Blunder? Come on, it was just a little misunderstanding, that's all. You're still beating yourself up about that? Honestly, I'd forgotten all about it. <laughs> misunderstanding? What happened? Well, a few days ago, after docking at Dornman Port, I thought I'd treat the crew to some time at the tavern to blow off some steam. While we were there, an argument broke out between a couple of drunk guys. Things looked like they were about to get physical, so I intervened to try and break it up. 
I tried talking to them, but they were in the mood for a fight, and my words fell on deaf ears. So I had to resort to, uh, a more hands-on way of getting them to calm down. <laughs> Eula was patrolling the area while all this was going down, and when she walked in, oh, it wasn't a pretty sight. I should probably take it from here. Recently, we've intercepted a string of attempts to smuggle goods through Dornman Port, so we decided to step up our patrols in the area. On my rounds that day, I noticed a group of people I'd never seen before, and they were sailors. My suspicions were raised, so I asked our captain to show a valid entry permit for the port. Captain Beto said she didn't have the entry permit on her person, and told me to check with the port authorities myself. I insisted that she should accompany me there, and, well, you can see how things could get heated in a situation like that. Hey, you were, you were just doing your duty. It was my fault, really. I should have watched my tone, but I had a few too many, and... Anyway, it all worked out in the end. I took Eula back to my ship, showed her my documents, and that was that. Misunderstanding resolved. I felt bad, though, so I told her I'd treat her to a drink when we got back to the tavern. Once we got to talking, we really hit it off. We sat there chatting until the tavern was about to close. Captain Beto mentioned that she wanted to have a look around the city the next day. I was also planning to head back to headquarters to submit some paperwork, so we decided to go together. Ah, I meant to say earlier, drop the captain and... Just call me Beto. There's no need for formalities between friends. Oh, <laughs> yes, of course. <Right. clears throat> Pardon me for being so formal. Anyway, as for why we're here, I heard about your shop when I got back to headquarters, and after discussing it with Beto, we decided to stop by and say hello. Oh, that's right. Plus, I'm curious to see what the deal is with these Mondstadt potions you've been brewing up. Well, uh, since you came all this way, why don't you buy some to bring back with you? Eh, could do. Although, I don't have any health issues, and my ship's already stocked with everything I could need out on the ocean. <sighs> Let me think. Oh, do you have a potion that helps with getting to sleep? Hmm. Potion that helps with getting to sleep. Are you having trouble sleeping, Beto? No, not me. The minute my head hits the pillow, it's lights out till the next morning. It's just that uh, I have this friend. She doesn't lack for anything, and she eats right and drinks right, but she just doesn't sleep well. I don't know if it's a case of affluenza or if she just has too many things on her mind. You're talking about um, the, what's her name? Um, Ning Wong. <laughs> it could be that. Wait, this friend you're talking about, you must mean. Yep, she's no stranger to rare and precious treasures, but I'd wager that to her, the chance to relax and get a good night's sleep is rarer than any treasure in her collection. Yeah. All right, we'll get started on that order for you right away. Yeah. Great. Thanks for the help. No problem. Uh, okay. So, a bard, a bard in Mondstadt, hopes to reliably put on a good show in their performances and attract a large, a large audience. The Dragon Spine Exploration Team, preparing supplies to ensure its members remain in good. To so, um, performances, <laughs> not wisdom, uh, it be? not wisdom, it's not dexterity, not constitution, it's not strength. Remaining good condition, I know it's constitution, but, uh, the others, all right, all right, no. Eula. What about you, Eula? 
Is there something we can make for you? Uh -huh. I don't want to put too much on your plate. It wouldn't be fair to ask you to make so many potions at once. Beto came all this way. Her order should take priority. Any potion requests I have on my end, I'll just submit to Lisa later. The same goes for anything the Reconnaissance Company needs as well. Aww, you're so considerate of other people. Oh, uh, you think so? The Knights have always looked after me so well. Maybe it's rubbed off on me a little, or something. <clears throat> but I still have a lot to learn. The next time things get heated, I should approach the situation in a more level-headed way. Everyone can see how hard you're trying. Exactly! Compared to when we first met, you're practically picking up friends left and right! Yeah. It's just like Tongue Death Bard once said, the winds always change their course. <laughs> Thanks, you two. Your kindness really means a lot. Aww. Thanks, Yula. You're sweet. Anyways, we have to create the... Um... Okay. Uh, we have to create a potion for our Beto. Um, see how that goes. But first, I want to see if there are any supplies that I have to purchase or anything. Nope. It seems to be alright. I'll take this. How about... to mediate austerity potion. Alchemy children stack will slot and paste. What do we have? Special flaming flower. Strength. Piston special wind wheel aster. How's the potion making going? I hope you didn't run into too much trouble. Okay. A special guests will sometimes drop by during the operation cycle. Oh, potions in accordance with their orders might be able to help them out. Potion with constitution efficacy on or that displays relaxing uh, characteristics. Perfect. Looks like my gift is all set. Is it time for your return journey then? If you're heading back to Dornman Port, I'd be happy to accompany you. Yeah, I think I've gotten my fill of sightseeing, so it's probably time I headed back. Don't want to keep my crew waiting. Traveler, Paimon, I'll see you some other time. Oh, and good luck with your business. On behalf oh, of the okay. Reconnaissance Company, I'd like to express my gratitude to you as well. My it's you to a real feast. <laughs> well, thank you. Thanks. Uh, so what is the market's, um... Market need? Uh... Performances... Main good... Updated? Launch. Boring. Uh, 
congratulations are in order. Else more interesting to do? We're happy to hear that one of our biggest customers of Constant General Goods is now also a colleague. Look out for one another thing going forward. The months that are often see each other out. Business isn't easy. Only by supporting each other can everyone create a healthy environment just conducive to business. We can all make a mountain of more together. This congratulatory congratulatory gift to do things. Supplies. Nothing. Really? Well, not too bad. I need to stack up on more. All right. Uh, of sits potions, freedom, and ingredient cultivation agrees to the limits. This is his freedom again. Upgrade the alchemy cauldron two times. Valid. And control one potion of medium grade or above. Giant to resist. Shift. Detail step by step, step by step blueprint for making a site of artful ascension. Alright. Altered earth. Specialized refinement material for dialects of the desert sages. In introductory alchemy studies, mercury is often used of gold, salted earth, or it can even greedily devour gold. Such it is also used in alchemy to represent metal. Still possesses the potential for transformation even after being dried in dust. Everything is uh, closed. 